As a good law-abiding citizen, I felt it behoove me to turn in a dangerous criminal uh, or will be criminal here in a couple months. And that that's my wife. What's happening, my friends? Today I'm weighing in on the very controversial decision that the ATF has made regarding pistol braces. If you guys don't understand what we're talking about, there's such a thing called a pistol brace right here. There's tens of millions of them out and about, and so this is just a very common use thing. But now the ATF very arbitrarily said, you know what, what we said before is now not okay. It's so bad that outside of a grace period, which is quickly closing right now, this is going to be a felony. We'll throw you in jail and fine you mercilessly. And that's what they're doing. And so as a good law abiding citizen, I felt it behoove of me to turn in a dangerous criminal uh, or will be criminal here in a couple months. And that that's my wife. My wife may lull some of you into believing that she's a good and decent person. She's just a sweet mom raising two kids, playing with her puppy and serving in church and, and loving people in the community. But I'll warn you, she's a dangerous felon to be. This is her gun. I think I've always known, and the ATF knows better, which is swell. This is my gun, this is a full 16 inch. Hers is a 12.5, and so the big difference between my Zev Blaster, this is beautiful, Warrior Poet Sling, no shameless plug there, hers is slightly shorter. It's deemed illegal because hers is more concealable, like you could appendix carry this junk. It's all absolutely absurd. But this one can land you in prison for 10 years, and I think, that she should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And the ATF is here to do that. Some of you don't know what ATF is, agents taking freedom, but alcohol, tobacco, firearms is the technical name. However, what they do is probably a little more descriptor of what I just said. So now we come to it. What should I recommend that my felonious wife do regarding this pistol brace? One thing we could do is just get a longer barrel. We could get a 16 inch barrel and be able to do that. A second thing is you just take the brace strap off. This is an SBA3 tactical brace uh, who's currently engaged in a lawsuit against the ATF. Rock on, support your uh, local gun lobby thing. We've been supporting the Second Amendment Foundation. And we've also been supporting USCCA and Firearms Policy Coalition. Warrior Poet Society has been giving monthly for years and years and a lot. So anyway, yay for gun advocacy. For those of you who support the channel and don't realize we turn around and we're a blessing and we are a force to be reckoned with, not just in public advocacy like I'm doing right now, but also in money behind the scenes. And we talk to Congress people and elected officials because we're trying to use every bit of our platform and sway to be able to fight for freedom, First and Second Amendment rights. Really appreciate your support. We are fighting for you. Now, because of censorious, crazy, anti-freedom stuff, I'm not allowed to take this off. So now you see it, and voila, now you don't. Tip of the cap to big tech that has kept us oh so safe. I also can't insert this magazine live on camera either because that would probably cause everyone in Uganda to die. And the fact that the rifle is white, which is really the wrong color in 2023, as long as this is not attached, we're good to go until they do their next reinterpretation, which renders us all felons again, and then that's not okay. Man, the death of freedom is so annoying. <laughs> And so this is a viable option. And right now uh, I'm more in this camp. I just, uh, most of my guns that I have this, I just take this off for now. Now, a third option is you can just hand in the gun to the government and have it destroyed. I'm sure they would love that because that's what all this stuff is really about anyway. And then a fourth option is I can register this with the ATF as an SBR. And they're giving you a little bit of a grace period, but re remember, their real goal is to get rid of all these guns so that you're not able to ever hold, have a last stand against your ruling betters because tyrants will never just let you live. They're going to want all the power forever. And so that you're locked out of any amount of recourse or defense from that. That's what the second amendment is about. First amendment's got all the good stuff, freedom of press and religion and speech. And then the second amendment's there because it's the only way you can actually keep that stuff. So I will not be registering this and letting the ATF know all of my serial numbers. It's really just about a gun registry, uh, which will ultimately lead to the removal of your guns also. Never, ever, ever give up your guns, ever. Now, I'm also holding stock that our gun lobby organizations are going to prevail in a lawsuit because truly what the ATF has done is a wide abuse of power. They didn't follow the correct process for doing this either. And on its face, all of this stuff is infringements on the Second Amendment. It really just is. A final option is just don't comply. Just 
do whatever you want. Now the risk is, is they come after you. They kick in your door. Hey, ATF, by the way, don't kill my dogs or swap me or anything. I will be peaceful and whatever. I took it off, right? So back up off of me. I'll see you in court and in the culture war for now because I think we're gonna kick your teeth in. I've got the second amendment, which means the government's not allowed to make any law which infringes upon my right to keep and bear arms. Therefore, back up off of me, tyrants. You could do that option. I'm not telling you to. I'm in this camp right now of like, check it out, look. Yay, compliance, and I'll see you in court. And all the ATF agents that are happily enforcing a direct breach in the Second Amendment, it is a shameful thing to break your oath to uphold and defend the Constitution, the First and the Second Amendment, and the other amendments for that matter. You are forsaking your oath. In a matter of a couple months, under your ruling, my wife's Christmas present. Is it the white AR I've wanted it for might, like three years? It might be. Give it a shot. Let's see. <laughs> Will now make her a felon. And you should be truly ashamed uh, of yourself. You may justify it with some weak gun control argument, which really is not about gun control. It's about people control. All you're doing is disarming law-abiding citizens like my bride. Grow a backbone and reform your agency from the inside out. Yes, it's gonna cost you something and it'll cost you something to leave the organization and live under your ruling betters tyranny as well. So guys, that's it for me. Make sure you jump down in the comments, like, subscribe, all that stuff. But if you really wanna support us, I would appreciate you visiting our website, warriorpotsociety.com and also joining our streaming service. That's watchwpsn.com, watchwpsn.com. And then you can sign up and you get our app and you get all my training classes, pistol one, two, three, rifle one and two, all kinds of freedom loving materials material coming soon. Anyway, guys, stuff coming down the pipeline. Train hard, train smart, and stay free. 2023 is going to be the best year for the WPSN streaming service, and this is why. This day is gonna be the greatest memory. If you're letting failure hold you back, you will become paralyzed by that, and the world will pass you by. That golden touch, time to light it up. Let's go. Get ready for it, get ready for it, get ready for it. Yeah, this is it. Go! Go! Gosh, this is going to be awesome. Special edition. We're going to be intentional about how we raise our young heroes. Go! Yeah, this is it. Go! All this and so much more coming soon, only to WPSN.